We all know that getting visas, going to US, Canada, Europe, Australia, New Zealand is complex, is difficult. Many people are getting denied the visas. But when we talk about the level of difficulties, we all agree that the US visa is the most difficult visa to get than most of the other countries' visa. In this case, I want to give the big difference between how difficult the US visa is compared to the visas to go to Europe. Why, though both are difficult, but why more is more difficult? There are some of the things you have to know when it comes to the laws of the countries and how they operate. Most of the European countries, first and foremost, are tiny, small countries. They have small population. You go to a country like Norway, population, I don't know, four, five, six million. Very rare to find countries with 15, 20 million people. Majority of the countries is just less than 10 million. That's number one. Number two is most of the countries in Europe have a law which allows the officers, the police officers, the officers in that particular country, they can stop you at any point they want. If it's at the bus stop, at a train station, at a park, whatever it is, is allowed by law if the police or the officer concerned is allowed by law to ask you to prove or to show your immigration status. They can ask you, show me your immigration status. That means you can be given the visa to go to that particular country, but they know for sure we can catch you most of the time if you want to, because unless otherwise you hide, very, very hiding, but the majority of the case, wherever you go, they are able to stop you at any point and ask you a question and show them the documentation you have to prove your immigration status. That is very unlikely. That is quite opposite of the United States. It is very huge country. Com just combination of 50 states. States like California with over 50 million people. Population of California is bigger or is higher than the population of Canada. Population of Missouri, which is a small state, is just higher than the population of Norway. So, for that particular case, it is difficult if someone comes to America and to be able to be found easy. That's number one. But number two is the law doesn't give officers, immigration officers, homeland office, or just the police officer to stop anybody without any crime and ask you for immigration status. I remember at one point the state of Arizona wanted to pass a law where the police would be allowed to stop a person and ask immigration question, it was against the constitution because that would be called a racial profiling. What criteria did you use to stop me and not this other person? So, for that particular case, the US police is not allowed to stop you. If you commit a crime while they are reviewing, yes, at that particular point, if you're in the police, they can ask you those questions. But overall, they cannot stop you for that. So, if someone is out of status, it's very difficult to be caught in the United States than in Europe. So for that particular case, the U.S. Embassy is standing there as the first block, as the first line of defense to make sure that people who are coming here are likely to go back to their own country. So that is the reason as to why majority of people are denied the visa for the U.S. because likelihood of someone to stay there and not being caught is higher than in Europe. If we extend the time, it is easier for them to catch you compared to America. So for that particular case, the visa is becoming very, very difficult to get it. Documentation, everything is taken extra seriously to make sure that you have everything needed for you to be able to go and stay in the United States.